Hey there, Sharon Hornellstrom here. Welcome to day 220 of our BU 365 day challenge. Today we are going to be talking about what area of confidence, since we're focusing on confidence for 20, for 2022. Well, 2022 is partly that, but for our challenge this year, we're focusing on confidence this month, the month of August. And we've talked about some confidence topics. We've talked about how do we feel with respect to confidence. And today we're gonna to pick one area of our life that we want to apply the SOAP framework to. So what's an area that you want to be more confident in? What's an area of your life that you're thinking, geez, if I was just a little more confident or if I believed in myself or if I uh, could just enter that situation or that uh, relationship from a stronger, more sense of myself, have higher self-esteem, what area would that be? So it might be home, it might be work, it might be different types of relationships, it might be different situations that you find yourself in. Maybe every time you go to the store due to COVID, you've got some PTSD, you feel uncomfortable. What if you could be more confident in all of your actions and all of your activities? So today, super quick and easy one, what area of confidence are you gonna apply the SOAP framework to? I have been thinking about it this morning and I think I'm gonna apply it to a situation that I'm currently involved in that involves family members because like everybody's families, we have a plethora of drama in different situations and different personalities in our family. And we're helping my mom to move to um, out of her Wisconsin home and just simplify her life. She's 85 now, so simplify her life and just have her Texas house now. Well, that means that every time we move her, it's the same challenge. She's got, like me, if you can imagine that, I think it's hereditary, a, a propensity to save and collect things. And I am the exact same way, so I know how hard it is for her to let go of things. And uh, we're going through that over the next few weeks as we help her move into and transition to kind of downsize a little. And she's been downsizing since my dad passed away. So I think it's, it's uh, a trigger, and I know it's a trigger for me, uh, so I can't imagine what kind of a trigger it is for her. So that is the area that I'm going to sew. How do I feel more confident and capable dealing with the family situations? I personally find that um, the intimate, closer relationships are more challenging for me personally to, to feel more confident in. And that's because there's people that I really love and care about involved. And sometimes uh, those relationships are the most fragile. So pick an area of confidence that you want to soap up. Maybe it's you want to be more confident at work. Maybe you want to ask your boss for a raise. Maybe there's a coworker that you want to improve your relationship with. And if you're more confident and sure of yourself, that will help that relationship. So we'll hop into the S tomorrow. Then we'll start to tell the story about where we are and where we want to be. But today, first thing we have to do is pick what are we going to focus on? Because we can't focus on everything at once, right? Maybe we want to be more confident in our speaking ability. Maybe it's an ability we want to have more confidence in. So pick it, share it in the comments below, and I will be with you tomorrow. We're going to jump right in. Have an awesome day.